Right now on Local 10 News at 5.30, the South Florida man accused of threatening President Obama during his visit to Miami last month made his first appearance before a federal judge. Joaquin Serapio's attorney claimed the Internet posts were meant to be a joke, never a serious threat. Local 10's Glenna Milberg has a look at what's next for this 20-year-old. Did you have any serious ill intentions? His first federal court appearance hardly lasted a minute, though long enough for Joaquin Serapio to plead not guilty. This was a foolish prank by a 20-year-old who did not recognize the problems that would follow. Problem number one, knowingly and willfully threatening to kill the President of the United States is a federal crime, one which Serapio is now accused of because of his Facebook posts preceding President Obama's arrival in South Florida last month. Posts like, who wants to help me assassinate Obama while he's at UM this week? And I'm gonna put a bullet through his head. It's too late. The musician and full-time student was warned by his friend's texts those posts could get him in trouble. And they did. And the criminal complaint also shows that agents found pellet guns, rifle style and handgun style, in his home during the search. It was a foolish mistake. Uh, he sincerely believed that it was comedic. Have you or he reached out to the White House at all? Uh, no. Interestingly enough, Glenna, that I, I, I thought first order of business, because he sincerely wants to do that, is to apologize. So that's something I think we're, we're probably going to uh, attempt to do through the government. Serapio is free on bond, must attend school full time, and is banned from using social media as he awaits trial. In Miami, I'm Glenna Milberg, Local 10. And Serapio has undergone a court-ordered mental evaluation with normal results. Another